Hello Gemini, welcome to your love story reading for the first half of July. I hope you're doing amazing. Hello, welcome back. So uh, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry. Check your Venus. Um, that has your love energy in it as well. Or I could do a private reading for you if you like. That link is in the description box below. Or you can go to the website up above. So what we're going to do... We're going to pull some oracle cards and then get right into the spread. We're going to talk about the past, the present energy on your side, on their side, uh, both sides, and uh, the near future. Okay. Okay. So here we have for Gemini for July. First half of July in love. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, you're realizing something isn't working in love. I feel like you're try you tried to work it out. You've tried to look at it at a different perspective. Um, I feel like you're just investigating your feelings, you know, with this person, where it's going, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but you're deciding that you need some time apart. Maybe to think, maybe to look at other options, whatever it is you're separating, okay? Um, and it has to do a lot with it's just not the attraction isn't there you know um and, I, and it you kind of feel bad kind of um because i feel like this person cares about you that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say they care about you they may not be doing the right things towards you um but they do care about you okay i don't know how much you care about that <laughs> but that's what i do see so let's see what the past brought to you Gemini leading up to this energy that's what it's about ace of cups trying again yeah eight of cups and the seven of cups and the fool okay yeah I feel like you really wanted this person or maybe you felt bad you know it's it's kind of like you made a foolish decision uh dealing with this person again kind of you know, but it's kind of like you just wanted to try to see what was going to happen. And mostly it came from a place of, uh, that didn't really have sense or meaning. You just needed to figure out what was there. Okay. Um, yeah, for you, you wanted to see if it was a revival of your feelings. I feel like that's why you wanted to go into it. Um, and I feel like you just don't feel the same about this person anymore or they decided they wanted to walk away from you okay it's either one of the two and whatever illusion of love that you both thought you had for each other uh you definitely see through this them for them it's more practical to me i feel like they're doing it for more practical reasons yeah they they think that you would be the best choice you know um but i feel as though emotionally they're just not there you know like they're not up to par from you they've emotionally checked out unfortunately okay so let's see what we got going on two of swords death seven of wands will of fortune lovers King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Temperance on the bottom. Yeah, you're tired of being patient with this person. I feel like that's about to end. You know, you've, you've put yourself out of balance trying to balance this situation. And that's, you ain't about that life, okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Gemini, you are not about that life. So you've made a decision to make a choice. It's a logical choice. You know what you need to do. I feel like the truth is presented to you in a way where, you know, you, you really just had to see it and then do it. Okay. Um, this person that you're with, you feel like is not going to change. The situation isn't going to change, even though you would love it to. It's just kind of stuck. Okay. And... I feel like you don't even have the effort to put in to do it. You know, it's like you see it failing before it even starts. So I feel like you're you're deciding to not put the energy into it anymore. 
you're you're taking control and changing your direction okay so i feel like this person with the wheel of fortune um you know it's like hoping for the best you did hope for the best you did want this but there is a change in direction with that and it has to do with a lot of you being spiritually out of balance trying to balance this okay so on their side um they keep making bad decisions when it comes to love it's just they don't make the right decisions they're very stuck in the way that they do things and it's almost like they're trying to go against what you want it's it's almost like it's like a natural occurrence it's really weird how i feel that but um it, it just seems like every time you try to step forward they like step back or something <laughs> It, it's almost like it's happening on purpose and they feel like you should wait on them you know they feel like they have all the answers they do but the problem is they're making the wrong choices they're driven towards the wrong things which is being unyielding and not being truthful or not being balanced or not speaking how they truly feel or what they truly want right and this is this is what's causing conflict is because they're not exposing what it is they truly want to say and it's not for you to get them to do that and i feel like you're just tired at this point it could be that they just decide to step back because they think that you're going to come chase them to be honest But little do they know, that ain't going to happen. So, so you are making a, as I like to say, an educated decision, a wise decision to go within and choose what's best for you. I feel like what really triggered this for you, Gemini, is the fact that you feel imbalanced. And this doesn't feel like it's on your, your, for your best outcome. So that's what is changing this. You're seeing that this person's decisions and the way that they're acting are, is not going to change. It really is a, just a part of who they are, right? Even though you were fighting for this, you're starting to see that you're fighting or you're standing up for this or trying to get this rekindled. Is just too much of a burden to carry so you're changing your trajectory you're changing the way you look at things right you're seeing that there needs to be a change and you're doing this from a place of wisdom okay so for them they're just not cooperating is what I'm seeing yeah this is a person that they have closed this off without even trying and it's because they won't yield right they won't change their perspective they won't look at things from your point of view they it's like they refuse to do that and it's like they're trying to pull you in the future the way they want you to go and you're trying to pull this way you know it's like both of you are just not going in the same direction and it has to do with ego they won't let their ego go even though they know that they should. This is a person that is aware that they should let it go. They they hear what you have said and what you're projecting to them non-verbally, but they're choosing not to do it. And because of that, there is no cooperation. So you have to take the reins on this one. Okay. So in the near future... You are now on the search for the person that is right for you. Um, it's like this has taught you about balance and love and what unions mean and what a partnership really is. And that is what you're looking for now. Okay. You're on the search to look for that. And this person is going to be very frustrated. I feel like they have a lot of things to say. Um, it's like they kind of want to hinder your growth. 
They want to hinder you from moving on. Yeah. They see you getting balanced and I feel like they don't like it. Yeah. They don't like it. Because they see you getting a higher perspective, moving on, finding yourself. Okay. So I feel like the key here for you, Gemini, is to see what it is that you don't want to see. You know, it's like you've come out of this little shroud or this little cloud of, of situation that you were in in love. And now you're moving forward looking for something else. Yeah. It's like, yeah, where you are um, won't change. So in order for you to find happiness, I feel like you have to go somewhere else where there is movement. And that's where you're headed. Absolutely. That's where you're headed. It's going to take some time. I feel like you have some mental shifting to do, like shifting this person out of your mind. But you're going to do it. Okay. So let's see what spirit has overall for you, Gemini. Balance, <laughs> miracle, growth, and bittersweet. Yeah. Unfortunately, this situation, you tried. I'm going to say that, okay? Because with this car, I feel like you tried. You spoke your mind. You tried to get things out in the open, but it's just you weren't being met with that. And that's the bottom line, okay? So now you have to find balance. You're thinking of your higher self listening to your intuition, doing what's right for you. And yes, this other person isn't going to like it, but that's not your fault, okay? Growth, this is a chance for this person to learn what real love is. This is an opportunity for them. Let's see if they do it or if they're going to play the victim because that's what that car is talking about. And yes, this is about you. Um, this is about everyone learning their worth. Yeah, it's about your this person learning that if they want love, you know, I feel like this person's going to play the victim like it's you because they don't know what else to do. But you're taking this and getting a higher perspective out of it, you know? You're you're deciding to live your life with some integrity and recognizing your worth. And that's that's the highest point of this. That's what spirit wants for you here. So thank you, Gemini, for being here. I love you. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.